<laughs> What's up, folks? Okay. I wanted to run this by you guys really quick. And I, I think I'll, I'm going to talk kind of slow for a second while folks get on up in here. So y'all need to hurry up so I can stop sounding like an idiot trying to do my slow voice impersonation. So anyway, as you guys are coming in here, I hope to uh, see as they're coming in there, some of my regulars and stuff like that. And uh, I got a, I got a, a, a question to ask. Uh, and the question is, is it reasonable? And um, okay, y'all, for those who uh, keep up with my, my Zoloft videos, um, I'm trying to keep those going. I, I did a survey a little bit earlier. And, um, you know, not like I already don't know the answer. Uh, admittedly, I kind of, I'm, I'm experience, I'm experimenting with different types of promotion, you know, trying to, you know, work my way through, around, above, over, which, uh, or above or under, uh, this whole shadow banning thing. Um, and you know, a lot of time, y'all, a lot of time is taken up with, um, you know, trying to figure out your way through this and, uh, and trying to promote. Uh, it's it's very it's very time consuming, very time consuming. Um, but at any rate, it's you know in order to to try to you know keep my work out there, it's just it's just part of the game. But um, but what I'm asking though is like, is it unreasonable? I I'm trying to I would like to, and I'm thinking that a few people would like for me to, because uh, I'm blessed to have a, a few supporters that uh, still try to help me keep this going. But um, you know what I'm looking for, y'all. What I'm looking for is I need 300, 300 supporters. That's all I need. Now, what, where the unreasonable question is in there, the unreasonable question is, y'all, I have over 100,000 followers on Facebook, most of which have no idea what I'm doing because they don't get any notifications from me. That's, how, that's not how my audience gets my, you know, gets my work. They're used to seeing my work appear in their feeds. They're used to seeing it right in front of them. That doesn't happen anymore, okay? And because they don't see it that way anymore, a lot of them think that I've I've quit. They just think I stopped, like after PJTV shut down, and I and the shadow banning started with me even before PJTV shut down. And uh, it's a career killer, y'all. It, it it'll it'll mess up your livelihood. Um, but at any rate, what I'm asking is, is it unreasonable out of the followers that I have, the subscribers, like on on um YouTube? I have about 80,000 subscribers, most of which do not get my notifications no matter what. They just don't get them, right? So the, the objective for, for these um, operatives who run social media is to keep you out of sight, which keeps you out of mind. People will forget about you. That's just the nature of the game. And they know it. And that's why they keep me out of the Facebook feeds, keep me out of Twitter feeds. Over you know 30,000 followers on, on Twitter, hardly anybody sees my tweets. B practically nobody sees them. I can tweet it until until my I'm blue in the face. Hardly anybody sees my tweets. Hardly anybody sees my posts on Facebook, considering the amount of followers that I have and stuff like that. So I'm just saying, when you consider almost eighty thousand follower uh, subscribers on YouTube, almost uh, or over a hundred thousand followers on Facebook, uh, over thirty thousand followers on Twitter, is it unreasonable for me to say, look, y'all, all I need is three hundred? I just need 300 supporters at 10 bucks a month. That's all I need. That was that is all I need to be able to continue regular content. You guys might have noticed that I don't do the Zoloft that much. I, I can't. I can't. In order to keep this facility, that takes a day job, right? I don't mind working, y'all. I don't mind working, but the thing that breaks my heart, y'all, is that there, there are a few people that support me, and even if it's only 10 people, and I can tell you right now, I'm far off from 300 people supporting. You, you'd be surprised. After, for, when you consider all the followers that I have, that that hasn't been able to grow, they, 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 um, my my ability to grow my audience has been choked. I've been at less than one hundred ten thousand followers on Facebook for almost five years now. They've choked me where I can't grow it anymore. Same thing with YouTube. Same thing. Less than eighty thousand followers for about five years now. Same thing with Twitter. Less than thirty three thousand followers. About thirty three thousand followers for about five years now. Right. Coincidence? I think not. No, that's purposeful, y'all. They purposely kept me right here and will not let me grow past that. So, and then out of that audience, I can barely reach those who are connected to me on there. They don't even know that I'm doing stuff. A lot of people don't even know that I've been doing the Zola for since 2016. 
ever since PJTV shut down and I stopped doing the Zonation videos. A lot of folks don't even know. Most of my audience doesn't even know that I do the Zoloft, right? So, but there are people that do, and y'all, I don't want to disappoint them because there are those who, who there have a, a remnant, so to speak, who tried to follow my work and they support. And it breaks my heart, y'all, that I can't do the Zoloft videos as regularly, you know, and even at least once a week. I would, I, I'd be happy if I could do them once a week. But y'all, I can't. I'm telling you guys, it's between, between doing the research, writing the script, performing the script and recording it, after editing it, and then doing the promotion it takes to get the video out there despite all the shadow banning. Y'all, that's a full-time job. I do not have the time to do that. I just don't. I've tried. It, it, does, it doesn't work. Okay? So that's why I'm saying I need, in order for me to do that to where it's like, cause I'm, I, like I said, I don't mind working, but that's not what I do. You know, my, the thing that I've trained for, the thing that I've, I've, I've worked to, to know how to do is to use entertainment to convey information. That's, that's what I do. And, and that has become a threat. It's become a threat to not only the liberals, but to a lot of conservatives. They don't want my brand out there either because they, they don't want the competition. I understand, right? But they don't, it's like they want to be seen as the trailblazers and they don't like the idea that there was somebody like me out there doing the stuff that they're getting, that they're getting popular for. They're getting popular doing the stuff that I was doing over 10 years ago, all right? So, and for me, it's, it's good because it's like, well, that's what I've been trying to get people to, I've been wanting people to wake up, get red pills and all that sort of stuff. That's what I've been wanting. Uh, I didn't think that they would, you know, let it go to their head and, and get out there doing it and, <laughs> and try to make like they were the only ones doing it and that there wasn't somebody else doing it before they were, you know, at least not the way that I was doing it, right? So, but at any rate, y'all, that's, that's what it takes. It takes 300 it was, it was, for, at first, at earlier I was, I was looking for 500, right? But I wasn't able to reach those, so I had to downsize. I had to move out of the facility that I was in. I had, I had to give that up, get a smaller spot, something a little bit more affordable, which, was, which I was hoping would be more affordable, but it's not because I can't reach, I can't reach my audience. And even, even so even right now, just me being here is, is, is a cash cow. It's a waste of money, basically. You know, I'm here, I got the facility, but I can hardly create the content because I can't grow my supporter base. So that's where I'm at, y'all. I'm at, and it's you know, it's not it's not about complaining because every you know you know how we conservatives are. It's like you know stand up for yourself. So any, I know that I have like some out there who's like, yeah, quit your whining, so It's like look, you you know you got to make up your mind. It's either stand up for yourself or whining. Which one is it? And no, this is me standing up for myself. And just like anybody else, I am promote trying to promote my brand trying to promote my business. I provide a service. Some actually valued it, right? And I value them valuing my service and I wanna be able to keep bringing that to them. And in order to do that, y'all, I need at least 300 supporters at 10 bucks a month. I would like to kick off the new year with that, you know, uh, with, with, with that uh, coming in to be able to say, okay, I've got a commitment and you know, it's all month to month anyway. But I, I would like to be able to say, okay, here it is, y'all. I've got these 300 supporters who are, de who are down to see the Zoloft keep coming in on a regular basis. Bringing you that content that, you know, only yours truly can, in a way that only yours truly can do. Right? I'm not trying to say that I've invented the wheel. I, I never said that I think of things that you guys haven't thought of already. But one of the things that people do say to me quite a lot is like, dude, you're saying what I'm thinking, but you just say it in a way that I never would have thought of saying it. Right? You're a breath of fresh air. Your perspective is just, it's just unique, right? A lot of people think that I'm a comedian. I'm not even a comedian. But, liberal, but, li but liberalism, y'all, is so laughable, it's an ongoing joke. And I've been the guy that, you know, you can come to to, to, to get a good chuckle out of it, right? That's what I do with the Zoloft. I bring you chuckle therapy, right? It's fun. It's laid back. And it's deep, right? Y'all, that's what you got. That's what I became known for. I put this stuff, I make it really easy to understand despite the profound perspective that I bring to it. That's what people have come to know me for, right? Easily digestible, but dang, if it don't boogie on your brain, it's the way I've done it, right? I've been, I've been blessed to be able to do it that way. And, um, you know, I would like to, you know, continue doing that too. And a lot of people are threatened by that.
they're threatening to this knucklehead. You know, it's like, look, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't, I don't boast some, you know, uh, prestigious academic career, y'all. I'm just a bro next door with an opinion. But you know, I guess as as the saying has gone, nothing frightens a liberal more than um than an educated black man. It's like, no, y'all, that's not what they're afraid of. What they're afraid of is the Lord. The Lord who makes demons tremble. That's what they're afraid of. And that's who's got my back, right? It's what it. What it it's not me that they they see and, and they're afraid of. They they see the Lord standing behind me, right? That's what they see. That's what they're afraid of. That's the that's the sword I'm swinging. That's the sledge I'm swinging. Okay, so you know, so I don't I don't pro, um you know profess to be an expert. I don't boast myself as an expert on any on anything. Um, you know, I just try to like you know I just try to. Demonstrate liberals exactly how they are. I point out their absurdity. That's what I do, and I'd like to be able to keep doing that for you, you know, to, in the um, effort to preserve our republic and uh, promote some sanity in the culture uh, against this machine, against this industry that is promoting insanity in the culture. I want to do my part. So uh, anyway, y'all, that's you know, if, if you're if you're already contributing, this ain't me trying to trying to squeeze some more money out of you. That's not what I am. I'm just trying to say that I've got to find. Because y'all, I like the numbers, right? It's not just about the money. It's about the numbers, you know, to create the buzz. Um, but that's what it takes. 300. I need 300 supporters at 10 bucks a month. That's what I have to have. And you'd be surprised, y'all. I'm not even close to that. Despite all the followers that I have, subscribers and, and uh, stuff like that. Despite all of them, a small percentage, y'all, a small percentage of our, our supporters. I can't reach the vast majority of them. And that's the holdup, y'all. And if you're paying, if you're one of my paying supporters, y'all, I'm sorry. I really am. It breaks my heart, y'all. It, it really does. It breaks my heart that you're supporting to try to keep me going. And I can't bring you content regularly because it, I got to hold down a, a day job to keep this place. It, it doesn't lend me the time I need to create the content that you've come to love my stuff for. It just doesn't, right? But if I can get those 300 supporters, 10 bucks a month. We can get back to, uh, you know, we can get back to rocking the gospel and bring you all the stuff I'm talking about, right? Whether it's politics, comedy, music, whichever, you know, bring you that Zoloft, bring you the Zopium Den and just keep that stuff coming. Uh, so what I could use is your prayers. Hopefully, hopefully you, will, you will pray for your boy Zoe, right? And Bronze Serpent Media so I can keep this stuff coming to you. All right, y'all. Anyway. If you want to support, if you're watching this and uh, you want to be among that 300, <laughs> like the 300, like you guys are some Spartans, some Spartans or something like that. Don't be no heathen, heathen. Don't be no Spartan heathens, y'all. Um, <laughs> BronzeSerpentMedia.com. If you guys want to support, I have that the Cornerstone, Cornerstone by the way, which is a Christian conservative uh, uh, payment system. Uh, that I like to use, and they and you, with them you can do recurring payments. You can set up, you can do your two, ten bucks a month, and uh, and set up with them, and they'll do it automatically. It'll already be in. Uh, for those who still like to use PayPal, you use PayPal. Uh, I don't know if PayPal does the um, does a, a recurring payment. Uh, it doesn't make it as convenient. There might be a way to do it. If, if they do, I don't know. Uh, but I've been using Cornerstone, and they'll do the recurring payment for you uh at 10 bucks a month. So, once again, it's bronzeserpentmedia.com. Just think John 3:14 through 16. Right on y'all. Blessings to you and uh you guys have a wonderful evening.